Miss Cindy from the RJ Public Library. Welcome to Bedtime Stories. I'm so excited to get to read stories with you tonight. I'm already ready for bed. I have my pajamas on, I have my teddy bear, and I have my cozy snuggly blanket. Are you all ready for bed? Do you have your pajamas on yet? Miss Cindy knows a song about pajamas. Would you like to sing it with me? You would? Yay! It goes like this. It's called Five Pairs of Pajamas. Are you ready? Five pairs of pajamas. We're dancing at the pajama party. Five pairs of pajamas. We're dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo. Until one pair of pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. And away he goes. Four pairs of pajamas. We're dancing at the pajama party. Four pairs of pajamas. We're dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo. Until one pair of pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. Three pairs of pajamas. Dancing at the pajama party. Three pairs of pajamas. Dance until it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo. Until one pair of pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. Two pairs of pajamas. Dancing at the pajama party. Two pairs of pajamas. We're dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo. Until one pair of pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. One pair of pajamas. Dancing at the pajama party. One pair of pajamas. Dance until it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo. Until one pair of pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. Yay! Great singing! Thanks for singing with me. Moms and dads and caregivers, singing is such a great way to build those early language skills. So sing as much to your kids as you can. All right, we have a one time, wonderful bedtime story tonight. Our bedtime story is called The World Champion of Staying Awake by Sean Taylor and Jimmy Lau. I know sometimes I think I should be the world champion of staying awake. Let's see what happens in this story today. I'm a bit wide awake, snuffles Cherry Pig. I'm a lot wide awake, cries out Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's the mouse. And Beanbag Frog is worse than wide awake. He's going hoppity hop. Stop it, stop, says Stella. It's time to go to bed. I'm not going to sleep, calls out Thunderbolt. Sleep is too slow, creaks Beanbag Frog. I'm the world champion of staying awake, cries Cherry Pig. She's bouncing on the bed. But Stella is good at thinking up ways to get them to sleep. So she puts them on her pillow. You can dream the pillow into something, says Cherry Pig. Yes, says Stella, it's a ship. And it is. The pillow ship rocks, the pillow ship sways, the pillow ship sails across the waves. In the deep water, under the boat, Jellyfish, sharks, and seahorses float. Look at all of those animals. Oh my goodness. But down in the cabin, 
You'll come to no harm. You'll be warm as a cat sleeping inside a barn. So snuggle your feet, snuggle your knees, and let yourself sway over the seas. Oh my goodness. Boat is rocking. <gasps> Quietly, Stella checks. Jerry Big is fast asleep. But Beanbag Frog asks, is jelly made from jellyfish? And Thunderbolt is calling out, the world champion of staying wide awake is me! How am I ever going to get you two to sleep? Stella says with a sigh. With presents, toys, fireworks, and spicy sausage pizza? Suggests Thunderbolt. It's not time for anything like that, says Stella. It's time to shut your eyes. I have shut my eyes, but my feet are completely woken up, says Beanbag Frog in a very bouncy voice. So... Stella puts them in her shoe box. Can you dream this box into something? Asked Thunderbolt. Yes, said Stella. It's a train. And it is. <gasps> Outside, the air is cold with rain, but it's warm and dry on the midnight train. The silver wheels spin around on the track on their way over the mountains and back. And as it chugs and clatters and steams, the train will carry you into your dreams. Thunderbolt looks pretty interested and froggy too. Dreams of long journeys and dinosaur eggs. Dreams of white horses with galloping legs. Who's the world champion of staying awake now, whispers Stella. Thunderbolt lifts his head and says, I'm the world champion of going to sleep. Then he closes his eyes. So that leaves Beanbag Frog. Is he asleep? Does he look asleep? think so. Nope, he's not. He's going hoppity hop again. How many years is it to my birthday? He asks Stella. I can't believe you're still awake, she whispers. I can't, says his, says his croaky voice. The world champion of staying awake must certainly be me. So Stella puts him in the toy basket can you dream our basket into something? asked Beanbag Frog. Yes, says Stella. It's a balloon. And it is. Oh, wow. The starship balloon flies off and away, leaving behind the last of the today. Through air as quiet as fallen snow, up and up and up. Up you go, up so high that it's best to stop if you feel like going hoppity hop. And what's around you as you rise? The sparkling necklaces of the skies. Look at all the stars. Stella checks, Beanbag Frog is lying with his head on one arm. Not a croak, not a bounce, not a hoppity hop. They're all fast asleep, she whispers. And she tucks them one by one into bed. So the world champion of staying awake must actually be Stella. Or maybe not. She certainly looks very sleepy to me.
<laughs> what a wonderful story, boys and girls. Thank you for reading that with me today. All right, I have one more little activity for us to do, and it's all about tucking some animals into bed so they can go to sleep, just like it's almost time for us to go to sleep. Let's see who we have for animals. Are you ready to see who's ready to go to bed? I have five little friends here with me. I have rabbit and raccoon and fox and bear and owl. And we're going to sing them to bed. Are you ready? Five cozy blankets with patterns galore. One covered rabbit. And then there were four. Four cozy blankets, as snuggly as can be. One covered raccoon. And then there were three. Three cozy blankets with dots red and blue. One covered fox. And then there were two. Two cozy blankets made just for fun. One covered bear. And then there was one. One cozy blanket left out in the sun. It covered owl. And then there were none. Yay! I'm ready to be in my cozy blanket. All tucked in and ready for bed. Thank you for playing bedtime stories with me tonight, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. Should we sing our goodbye song? Yeah? Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky doo. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin-a-ma-rinky-dinky-dink, skin a ma rinky dink, skin a rinky doo I love you too. Boop, boop, be doo Good night. Air Dreason Night of the Light Gala is set to return September 24th at Genesis Place. Be live entertainment, an auction, and much more. Check it out online.